Alrighty. Bow, bow. Up, 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 up. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. So sorry about that high wind. I totally forgot. It is now added. I don't know if you can try refreshing throughout the stream and see if it activates, but I mean, we'll, we'll see. But thank you. It, no need to thank me for adding it. Thank you for making it. That's, that's where the big work is, you know. Thank you so much. But yeah, sorry about that. Um, hello. Good evening. Welcome back to the Emma Show. Where I yap and yap and yap away. I finished a big project! Woo! Woohoo! Yippee! Oh yeah! That was just so many hours. Dedicated. But hey, it's done. It's not done. <laughs> it's mostly done. The big first draft, which is basically finished. The video is finished. Sent off to the client. If the client has any issues, then they get back to me. I go blah, 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 fix it up, send it back, yada, yada, yada. But the, the big, the big guy is done. Oh, shut up. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's there. Awesome. We do have some new emotes if anybody so wishes to use them. Also for the kitchen, I'm going to try and use this microphone. It's apparently linked to my phone. So hopefully it works. We'll just, uh, we'll give it a go. But yeah, I am hungry, so I'm going to be cooking up a little something something. But today, I just worked. Yesterday, I worked on this dang video. And today, I took a break. I went and got lunch a little rooftop cafe. Ooh, so nice. It was gorgeous. Yeah, a little fluffy one. <sighs> fluffy little microphone. These ones are interesting because they have a little magnet on the back. So if you want to just have it on your clothes like this, you don't have to clip it. You can just have it hanging like that. So I don't know if it's gonna work, but it should be good. Should be fine, hopefully. If not, mm. I'll do some more research and I'll get it working. But yeah, that's basically the plan. But yeah, how are you guys? Did you have a good week? It's Friday here. Uh, I believe it's Friday for most of you. I hope that it's been a nice week. Alt, thank you so much for fitty one. Will she ever fix that? Who knows? <laughs> thank you so much for the 51 months. Alt, thank you. Not sure how long I can stay uh, since I'll be going shopping later to get ingredients to make a cherry bake roll tie. Oh, you, I, I hope you like it. I really, really liked it. There's something about the layer of almond that gets like this chewiness to it. I hope it does the same thing for you. I'm hearing some sounds. I don't know what it is. There should be no sounds in my house as I am alone, but hopefully everything's fine. Also, my bathroom is stinky and I'm trying to research what's going on. I don't know. And I'm frustrated because I've cleaned that brick out of that bathroom. Strike, thank you so much for the 19 months. Shh, no sounds. No sounds. Shh, no sounds. Silent stream? If, if we want, we can have a silent stream. Maybe the temperature changing? Yeah. That's true. I will say this apartment keeps in the heat so nicely in winter. I'm like, I'm toasty. And then I go out, I'm like, Ugh. and I don't realize how cold it is outside because I'm toasty in here. It's great. I'm supposed to poop in the lower bowl, not the upper one. Oh, shit. Where's the lower bowl? Oh, the upper. Oh, I thought it was a step up. And then it just kind of washes it down. That's what I thought. There's a little, there's the, why, why would water be there? If it's not gonna wash it down. Ah. Anyway, stinky bathroom, house making sounds. Let's see if this mic fuck. Let's see if this microphone works. That felt like such a oh my god, I'm so quirky. Whoa, but I legitimately anyway, um, yeah, let's go. Dang it, this microphone's supposed to be connected and I don't think it is. Dang it. This is supposed to... Hmm, it doesn't, you can't hear this, right? 
It's just regular phone sound. Right? Does it sound like regular phone sound? I don't think this is linked up. Oh, shit. Okay, I can fix it. Okay. Wait, I I'll come back. <laughs> Wait, maybe... Okay. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, okay. Ugh, so, okay, this isn't working. <laughs> Would have been cool, uh, but I can I can figure it out. Let me just see if I can do this on studio mode. Okay, I can. One second, let me fix all of that. About, about, uh, about, about. And then we need the transparent. Okay. There we go. Let's give it a go. Okay, I actually do want to try and get this working, or I'm just going to try one more time. So, if this exits out of streaming, I apologize. But I'm just going to, I'm just going to try and see if this is possible. Okay, um, what are we doing? Camera, audio. Oh, can I turn it up? Apparently this makes it louder. Anyway, I'm going to try to turn on this. One sec. Settings. It's attached. Connected for calls. Why is it just calls? Can I connect it for everything? Okay, I think I'll have to see if it's possible to connect with IRL Pro, but I don't know. If it is, but I will have to figure that out another time. Okay. Oh well. It's worth a shot. Did that turn up the sound at all? Okay. We're tricking rocks into thinking. That's one way of looking at computers. Anyway, tonight we're going to be doing a Chinese restaurant style fried rice. Sound much clearer? Actually? Well, that's good. I turned up the input. Uh, I didn't know that there was like an input thing on the app itself. So now I've got a little bit more, but I am going to take my time and see if there's a way that I can connect this to IRL Pro. Another time when we're not live. But... Let's do it! It's the weekend, baby! Ooh! We love to hear it, we love to see it. This week has been good. It's just been... <laughs> doing this edit. It's lasted so long. It's been such a chunky one. Doing the edit and looking for chairs for my table. Because right now I have this beautiful table and I cannot sit at it, but I do not have a chair. So sad. But I want to get the right chairs, you know. I want to take my time with it. Sorry, I'm just putting away my washing up. A classic move. Okay. Now it's looking nicer. But tables aren't for sitting, that's true. Tables are for tabling. Yeah, I'm really happy the edit got finished. Very happy. Now there's just 10 billion more videos to go. Next one is Patreon November. I put everything in the timeline and I was like, I need to stop. And then I walked away. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, next one is Patreon November, all the cafes and spots I went to, which there's some really cool ones. Last time I looked, you had two chairs and no table. Uh, what kind of FMA bullshit is going to over? I was like, I gotta choose, and then I trans I transmuted the chairs into the table, and now I have no chairs. I should have done one table 
or like half a table and a chair or something, some kind of in-between, but it is what it is. The edit train, woo woo. When the edits are happening, I just get stuck in my little cave and I go a little crazy. Yes, I do have a new appointment, my appointment, appointment. I live in an appointment. I have a new apartment. Uh, it's really great. It's been awesome. Very, very happy I moved. Life has been really good. And I'm more connected to society. Well, I want the other knife. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a city girl now. Living in the big city. Paying $10 billion in rent. But it's good. That's what I want. But then now I'm getting spoiled. And I'm like, okay, well, when I want to buy a place, do I have to go back out of Tokyo? Because it's cheaper? Because, damn, the prices around here are pretty pricey. Stir frying? Yes, we are stir frying. Doing a little stir fry business with some vegetables. Yeah, buying the whole of the monster. I mean, renting here is ridiculously expensive and you can get really good like mortgages and loans and stuff compared to other countries. Damn, <laughs> it's still it's pretty pricey. I was watching a stream where Emma's friend was over taking control of the camera and was having anxiety about being dogs channel so well. I was genuinely so, I mean, you guys could tell. I was like, oh, you're really going to pick the camera up while all the windows are open. <laughs> She's like, yeah, don't worry about it. I'm like, ah, <laughs> I don't know if you know how easy it is to dox me right now, but I'm going to put my trust in it. And I tried to be a chill, cool person, but I was stressed. Thank you so much for the hundred bits. Hello. I still... I can hear it in the other room. <laughs> um, I still watch your 8 square meter apartment to a video from time to time. It's funny, it's such a long video. It's crazy. I was in there like 18 minutes or something. Yo. Yo, is that two years old, Ayumi? Hello. And now I can definitely afford to buy a place. Thank you so much for the 24 months. How you doing, Ayumi? How's life? <laughs> yeah. I could feel your stress in my chest. Yeah, I mean, I was like, oh no. You know how hard I've worked on not doxing myself. You know how, how much I've trained. It's like, that's, that's a lot of trust to put in someone. It's a lot. <laughs> I don't have that trust for myself. How can I give it to others? Oh no. There's a music show tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna go to it. Because it's a night show, which means I know the people I know are on it. 2.30 I don't oh, I want to have a weekend I don't know if I want to go at 2.30 oh, Thank you so much Highland I've never I've never thought about it that's actually a really good idea I will have more to think about it Thank you I'm very very lucky and happy with the layout of the new kitchen It's nice having the the, the the kitchen island here. I got my bins underneath here, which is so convenient. Because before the bins were like over there, and every time I had anything, I had to be like, ha, 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 and run all the way around, dump it in. And my tree is in the way of the bins where they used to be. So I'd be like, ah, ah. it was kind of dumb. But now the bins are here, so easy. And yeah, all space, so nice. I put up some lights under here that are rechargeable. I'm going to add one more light and then I know what light I want to have here. I just need to 
I'm buying, I, I want to chill out with the amount that I'm buying. Because, <laughs> you know, the what I want to achieve is going to take time. I can be slow, it's okay. But I'm like, I know exactly what I want. But I just don't want to be spending everything all at once, you know. Oh my god, that kid, did you hear that? It scared the shit out of me. Oh, just like my last place, the front door is very thin here. So when there is a child out in front of my door, I think they're inside my house. It scares the shit out of me sometimes. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I'm good. Yeah, it was a, a child, a young child. I don't think I don't think that was the kid that goes off, but that's one of them. Um, sometimes waiting to settle in a bit can also help make better choices for the space. I mean, the choices I want to make, I think are really good. I mean, very, like, I'm taking my time with each choice. There's so many things I want to do. I know what light I want here. It's like this little pendant light, and the top is like this green metal, and the bottom is a paper lantern that's like kind of squishy. And I found it on Medugari secondhand, and it's... 18,000, so, what is that, 130 US dollars, which is, I'm like, I don't want to keep spending, giving 100 bucks, 100 bucks, 100 bucks, I'm like, I'm just going to wait, but I'm like, then that's going to go, it's going to disappear, but it's fine, it's fine, it's all good, but I love looking, I love looking at all the secondhand sites, and trying to get exactly what I want, I love all that stuff, I'm having so much fun, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited about the space, like, I can see and feel like what it's what it's going to be like, and it's already at a place where I'm really pretty happy with it. Let me see. I think I can show you. There's nothing doxy over here. I really love the living room area. I feel like this camera doesn't do it justice. But see, like, a little pendant light, like, wouldn't that be cute? That would be so cute. Something over here. Maybe Christmas tree's gonna go over there. I'm still figuring it out. My dining table. Oh, so pretty. I cooked rice earlier as well, so I can have rice. And I put some more little guys up the top there. More little guys everywhere. Just more little guys, you know? In my life. That's what I want. Love a little bit of a cozy, a cozy vibe. But yeah, I'm having a good time. There's certain things as well that I'm like, I don't know how to look for them. There's certain, like kind of, in the office, I have a plan of like, what I want on the walls. And trying to look for those things is kind of difficult. I feel like I need to go to little markets and just see what pops up. But then that just takes time, you know. Yeah, I just feel like if, if the Christmas tree is by the fridge, I feel like it's going to get lost. Like, if I'm here, then I wouldn't be able to see the Christmas tree. But if I move the couch and the plant this way, then it could go on that side just for Christmas. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we go. I'm going to try a bunch of different spots. But, yeah. Mood lighting is so important for me. Intense lighting stresses me out. <laughs> Makes me tired. All that jazz. I could put the Christmas tree directly here. It would be the main character of everything, but uh, it would be a vibe for sure. Yeah, you know, it's it's welcome here. If it gets hungry, it can just look in the fridge, get whatever it wants. You know, my house is the Christmas tree's house. Cauliflower. I got cauliflower for 30% off today. I got some deals. Oh no, I forgot I already had beans. Oh dang it. I forgot about my beans. 30% off. I have, I actually can't hear the music, so I'm not sure what music it is. Oh. See how easy that was? Put it in the bin. There's right there. Should be easy. Yeah, this cauliflower is a bit old. But you know what? I don't really mind. I don't really mind a bit of old cauliflower. I just, I like, I like savings. Yeah, I think I've done too many veggies. 
for the ratio that I'm looking for. So I might just have to, ah. I'm going to maybe save some of them for another thing. Yeah. It, look, old cauliflower is where it's at. I love a good discount. Sure, there's a little bit of mold and a little bit of browning. 30% off. I'll, I've gotten food poisoning from less, you know? So, I mean, like, for less savings. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you get it. Just gonna take out little guys. It is getting colder now. Tokyo has been at like, yeah, it's in the single digits sometimes. But my apartment is so warm. It just, it just keeps it in. <laughs> like my last apartment, the insulation was so bad that I'm not used to being in an apartment that actually keeps heat in. I'm like, oh, it's very nice in here. Yes, this is sushi, the freshest cauliflower from the sea. Yeah, Japan can be very extreme with temperatures. I do like the variety and yeah, but I, I mean, I don't really, sum, summer sucks. There's no, summer's just awful, but autumn's great, winter's great, spring's great. Just the summer lasts now for like six months. Is the counter very low or is it just the camera angle? Um, it's higher than other places I've been, but it's, it's a little low for me, but it's not as bad as uh, two apartments ago where I used to live. Counters here can be pretty low to be honest. Yeah, I mean, there is a lot of good air con here, so I do appreciate that. Makes it a little bit bearable when you're inside. Oh, I'm not going to sit on the counter. Probably could, but I don't, I don't know. I've never, I don't think I've sat on the counter before. One degree. That's a little chilly. Never gets hotter than 30 degrees or colder than two degrees where I am. Wow. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a bit. Yeah, the heat, the heat here is just, the heat's the worst bit. I hate it, I hate the heat. But winter's so nice. Like, yeah, today it was so sunny. Even though it was a bit chilly, I went onto a rooftop cafe and was just in the sun, like, eating some curry. I was like, this is awesome. So nice. I don't know what 45 degrees is in Celsius. Okay. A little bit more of that mold off. Give it a wash. It's looking pretty good. So usually in Tokyo, it snows maybe twice a year. It depends. It can be a little bit more. It can be, I think there was a year where we didn't get any snow, but yeah, it depends. But it's very rare, but it does happen usually once or twice. And it's so special. I love snow in Tokyo. Plan for the weekend. There is an event going on at the park that I like. So I'm going to stop in there. And then uh, a retro specializing store that I like is doing a pop-up. So I'm going to go check that out. And then I've got some friends visiting uh, from Brisbane, two different sets of friends. So I'm going to see one of them tomorrow night and the other one the day after. So yeah, going to be good. And then next week I'm traveling. I'm traveling for work, doing another big shoot. So yeah, exciting stuff. A little bit of lotus root. But yeah, things feel good. Things are exciting and fun. Uh, it's really nice being in the city. So many good places to eat too. Having a great time. I'm gonna cut it in the... And then I'm gonna cut...
cut it like a and then maybe I'll do another little and then one final okay that's a lot of veggies I don't I don't think I'm gonna eat that I think that's too many for me tonight just for what I'm doing So the thing I need to do is I am going to uh, blanch them and then I'm going to stir fry them. But uh, I could just blanch and then keep half and stir fry some. They'll shrink down. I mean, these kind of veggies aren't really the shrinking type though. If they were like, you know, spinach or that kind of thing in there, I'd understand. But it's like all cauliflower, root vegetables, things that aren't really going to shrink down much so lotus root doesn't have a very strong flavor uh it's good with other things i think it's good when you put flavor on it's more of a textural thing it's like <coughs> it's a good like crunch you know what i'm saying oh i forgot to put boil water i also got some nice meat from the grocery store and it was 30 percent off so unlike the cauliflower, it doesn't have mold on it. Hooray! It feels like Minecraft food sounds. Yes. Yes, that is a great description of it. <laughs> um, blanching is more just for... So I, I watched this tutorial from this uh, guy who runs a Chinese restaurant. And he was like, don't Chinese restaurants have the best texture of vegetables? And I'm like, yes, they do. He was like, what you gotta do is you gotta blanch it and then stir fry it. And you only stir fry it for a very short amount of time. Basically, you just get the sauce on it. Too much traffic in Tokyo right now. Are you driving? What are you doing on the stream? What are you doing? Ah. I'd say it is quite similar to water chestnut. I miss water chestnut. I used to get cans of it and it was just the texture so good. But yeah, I'd say it's very similar to water chestnut. No texting and driving. Riding in a car from the airport. Oh, I see. Wait, where did you come from? Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome to. Gonna give a little. Love some colorful veggies. Um. Meat. Can I just take off the sticker? Oh, it used to be 10%, but they put a 30% sticker on it. I'm so lucky. All right, I'll just take the whole thing off and then put it in a different container. Oh wait, they double wrapped it. Oh, they, the stick is on the first layer of it. Come on now. Release the goods. Give me the stuff. There we go. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Please. Thank you. Ooh. She got the good stuff. 10% plus 20%, let's go! <laughs> let's go! So, here's my fancy beef from the supermarket. Ooh! Ooh!
<laughs> we can discount it and use more plastic. I'm in. From Bad Meat Guy. The Meat Guy? No, Bad Meat Guy. Yeah, we got the we got the moblin baby. Do you like to see? They're not super thin. Like they're not like shabu shabu pieces. Actually got a little bit of weight to them. Yes, fat in beef is very valuable here. We are going to put them in a bowl. And what I do is I cut them up into little bits. One thing I noticed while in Japan is how great the meat looks in supermarkets compared to here. We do have good meat in the supermarkets. How many pieces am I going to do? That's pretty good. I'll do one more. Hi, well, Mel. How you doing? And then I use more for another time. This is quite a nice amount of meat. Oh wait, I guess I don't need to, because I'm about to, okay. To this, I'm gonna add a little bit of, where's the party at on Friday night in Tokyo besides in this chat, obviously. Ooh, isn't it clear the party's happening in my place? <laughs> isn't it clear it's simply popping right now? Uh, I would say, uh, depends what you want to do. Any more deli meat? A deli would be appreciated, for sure. Um, party in Tokyo. I'd say it just depends what you're looking for, what kind of scene. Just gonna keep it simple because we're gonna be adding like a sauce to this whole thing. I need a bit of cauliflower. Cauliflower? No, cornflour. Having dinner with a friend shortly. Nice. Ah! Oh, not much of it spilled. That was lucky. <laughs> it landed every side down. So I'm just gonna coat this a little bit of cornflour, salt and pepper. Very simple. Chill to party these days, yeah. I know Shibuya's popping, but I'm not into that. <laughs> not, not really into that myself. I made it clear to this friend that I can't party like I did 20 years ago, so it's dinner. Nice. That's that's the way to do it. Be clear with, with what you want and what you need. Salt. MSG. I can't remember the amounts. I have the amounts written down. Yeah, Kabuki Tower is pretty crazy. Kabuki, Kabuki Cho Tower. Um, oh, my pictures are just full of pictures of chairs. <laughs> Where is the ingredients for the for the sauce? There it is. Salt, sugar. Okay. Yeah, I also don't like going to Shinjuku. Isn't that crazy? a little bit. There's a whole teaspoon of salt, but I always find that that's it's a bit too salty. But I make up for it a little bit with MSG. Sugar. 
You know, whatever feels right. I just, I just trust this guy in it. Sugar. A little bit of pepper. Thank you. I've been really enjoying the new kitchen. Really enjoying cooking. It's just such a, it's like, ooh, yeah. But I also, I don't like kitchens that are too, like, too closed off, but I still get to enjoy spaciousness, like looking around the room. But it's just like my little nook, you know? I'm really loving it. Okay, uh, and then oyster sauce. The ingredient you need is basically oyster sauce. One, right? Yes. Cornflour, water, chop garlic. Yeah. And then, oh, I'm just gonna add some cornflour over here. And then some water. Two burners. Uh, I did. I had three burners in the last place. I also have three burners here. Living a very luxurious life. But honestly, I rarely use all three. So I think two burners is not bad. But I am happy to have the third one just in case. Can't do all nighters like I used to. If you want me to wake in the middle of the night, I have to sleep in the evening first. Yeah, there was a period where I was going to a lot of shows and I would I would sleep before going, but it felt it felt wrong. You know, I'm like ready to go out and then I'm like napping and then I wake up and I've got my makeup on. I'm like, all right, time to go. <laughs> it just feels so wrong. All right, sauce is ready to go. Uh, we need to chop up some garlic. Let's blanch the veggies. Go. Yes, new kitchen. Go, go, go. Put you away in a second. I don't mind staying up late and dancing, but I can't drink these days. The body says no. Yeah, I don't I don't drink heavily. I'll usually have, like, if I'm drinking, I'll have one. <laughs> or I'll have two. I'm trying to remember the last time that I, that I drank, drank. And I, I'm not sure. I remember the days when I could do an all-nighter, go to lectures, go out, and then have, like, two or three hours of sleep and do it all again. Yeah. What? How was it possible? What happened? Well, just, just age. It happens. Hmm, am I gonna chop this up? Or am I gonna use a garlic crusher? Hmm. Yeah, let's just say no to aging. Easy peasy. It's like, you know, now if I'm editing and then I'm like, cool, I'm gonna go out and then I leave the house and I'm like, Oh, my body. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Oh, I gotta be stretching. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, if I choose to go out, I then don't have a weekend. Because I'm just, like, recovering. <laughs> recovering hardcore. And I'm like, I want to have a weekend. Uh, I kind of just want to use a garlic crusher. Yo, come on, pump up the jam. Let's go. These, I'm going to put a, what am I, what am I saying? What words are coming out of my mouth? I'm going to cook them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to cook, I'm going to cook them. Let's try, give you a little...
There you go. A little close up. I want this hot. Yeah. You work at a desk, it is so easy to forget to get up and move around and stretch every once in a while. I do get up pretty frequently, but yeah, sometimes when I'm locked in, it's just like, there's nothing outside of my computer screen. And I'm like, I should take a break. And then I'm like, <coughs> oh, oh. Say hello to the pan. Hello, pan. Cable, cable. Thank you so much for the 66 months. We got the pan cam. We, we got the pan cam. My first year in Korea, I was partying a lot. I was also able to get, I was still able to have a weekend as well because I was blessed with never getting hangovers. That's crazy. What's that like? Well, actually, I know what it's like. I used to not get hangovers. <laughs> and now, I'm just a mess. Even if I have like three drinks, even if it's like one more, I'm like, whoa, I don't feel so good the next day. <laughs> Fan on, so the fan's gonna be loud. Let's go. 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 let us Oh, I need a little bit longer, a little bit. Drinking water is a good idea. I didn't have a long time to stand up and my legs were like, ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Just a little bit of a high heat. Come on in. You got it. There we go. Oh, uh, kind of. Wait, mystery meat! Mystery meat! It's mystery meat! Fuck, what's mystery meat? I was like, why does it look like lust? I'm like, wait, that's what mystery looks like. Mystery meat is. Alright, and then. I'm 
just going to very roughly chop off this garlic. I know you can't see. Oh man, just to have the ASMR of me chopping up this garlic. I can't remember what mystery is. Also, Adam Serene, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Pluto's. I know meat is Niku. Mystery is like some kind of, I know mysterious is Fushigi. Shigi, is it something like, because it's Fu. Is there something in Shigi? I'm gonna have to look it up. How embarrassing. Will high train so two dimensional? What is what is what does that mean? Is something looking two dimensional? Oh my hands smell like garlic. I'm gonna go for a little splash of sesame oil. And I'm gonna chuck in the garlic. Aroma going. There was a little train. Oh yeah, the one that comes out. I forgot I did that. And it turns around and it's just it's like nothing. Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. Alright. Sauce. so good. like too much I say that every time I say that I eat it <laughs> hold on let me back you up let me back you up hello because I also have rice I feel like this could be more than one portion I feel like this is one and a half portions <laughs> I do have rice I have rice in my little my guy here's something I prepared earlier Oh, 
grass kind of dried out has been in there for a while I will say not too long just this morning it's not <laughs> this isn't a bad one this is quite large it's okay and if I eat it all we ain't gonna judge it but if I stop I will leave the rest for later Rice! Before I go, this beef needs to be put away. Da, da, do. And let's just go in like that. There you go. Nice. Morning? This morning! This morning! I promise! Please! You gotta believe me. Right, these are used for meat. So these. Am I missing one chopstick? I am, I'm missing a chopstick. That's pretty good. Let me just taste it, make sure it's okay. I need water. That's what I need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Yum. Okay, I can do this and carry my phone. Oh my god, she's crap. She's crazy. She's wild. Wait, oh my chopsticks. Oh shit, can I do it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Hello. Yum. Eat a duck, Imas. That beef is so crazy. That beef is so crazy. Mmm. Just that bit of like seasoning and sauce flavors the whole thing so well. Mmm. This is a uh, stir fry. Beef, Wagyu beef, <laughs> and vegetables, and rice stir fry. Mmm. Very luxurious Friday night meal. I'm from Australia, but my parents are British. Here is the lotus root. This is the texture we're talking about. Apologies for the ASMR, but... It can be crunchier. It's like a crunchy kind of thing. Mmm. Have you guys had dinner yet? Or breakfast? What have you been having? Hmm. I'd like to visit France one day. Maybe one time when I go to the UK. I should get the train over. I don't know how expensive it is, though. I don't want to know how expensive it is to go to France. Using the- is it the Eurostar? Mmm. Curry and rice, nice. I had that today. Are we the same person? Nice, good to get some breakfast in ya. the whole bed bug business was it was it real is it still a thing hmm I understand I, I there's a lot of lotus related things that are very trypophobic the um the seed pods there was a, a time on the internet where 
the seed pods kept being photoshopped onto people's bodies to make it look like some crazy like disease or like maggots or something it was wild and i hated it because i knew i'm like there's a load of seed pods you're just photoshopping them onto people's legs <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Wow, yeah, I I didn't realize the bed bug thing was still going on. Lotus knees is the best, yeah. <laughs> I'm visualizing it. But he did get a lotus seed pod tattoo. Mmm. Holy fuck, that beef's good. Jesus. People got them, but they're kind of. Mmm. Um. I don't want to show them. I feel like that's gonna set some people off. Some of them are pretty. Some of them are. Terrible. Not to call someone's tattoo terrible, but they're very, like, trypophobic. Mmm. I feel like lotus root in cooking just kind of takes on the flavor. It's kind of like seeing if potatoes have flavor. Not really much going on. But it takes on, like, sauce and stuff. Hmm. I do love a good train. Potatoes are flavor 100%. Okay. Maybe slightly less flavor than a potato then. It's like it has flavor, it's just not anything big. Hmm. Have a great time, Howen. Let me know how the tart goes. I hope it's good. The one I made was a little sweet, so maybe cutting back on the sugar a little bit. We're doing thinner frosting. Either way, I'm sure it'll be great. Have a great time. Good luck. Hmm. I feel like, because it's a root vegetable, I feel like celery is quite watery, whereas this doesn't really have any water or like that kind of texture. And I feel like celery has a more strong flavor than lotus root to me. Black sesame sauce sounds really good. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. The beef goes so crazy. And the vegetables are really great too, because the texture is awesome. Just boil them for a short amount of time and then it's like, oh. I always still boil them for too long. I need to boil them for less time so they're still crunchy. Oh, Beef, you're so crazy. So crazy, Beef. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Punko. So, Punko is breadcrumbs. So. Wonko is Wonko Soba, which is a type of, usually you do like the Wonko Soba challenge where you eat, you have to eat as many bowls of soba as possible. That's what Wonko is. But Panko is, is breadcrumbs. Mmm. -hmm. Also tonight, I don't know if you guys are down, I would be down to play a video game or something. Something chill. Doronko Wonko is a dog game. Ah! I've never heard of it. An article on ABC about how tubby footwear are becoming more of a thing. 
Coming in place of design on high heels. Yeah, I mean, Tabby, Tabby style, like, is a thing. I feel like in, a, in some modern shoe wear brands as well. Hmm. I haven't seen it a huge, huge amount here. It's there, but it's not. Yeah. Not the biggest, biggest thing. It is coming back a little bit in some modern footwear brands. From my opinion, anyway. And also like a breaded and with sauce. Nice. Like a, like a katsu? You have like a, a katsu? Did you have it, um, like fried beef or pork? Mmm. Doronko, onko. Yum, yum. I was playing the um the Zelda game. What the heck is it called? <laughs> I played it on the plane. It was good. I haven't played it since then. Mmm. How was your vacation? Where 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 else did you go? How long were you here for? Slider but not tempura. Yeah, echoes of wisdom. Not tears of the kingdom, echoes of wisdom. Lighter than katsu. Maybe, cause like, hmm, lighter than katsu. Well no, cause like if you get like a breaded or crumbed prawn, it's just called like ebi fry. Ebi fry. So I wonder, I wonder what it was that you had. That panko is so good. That crispy texture is just awesome. Yeah. I'm so happy you can play a Zelda. Feels like it's long overdue. Hmm. Tokyo, Hakone, Osaka, Nara, Kyoto. Last day in Yokohama. For two weeks, that's so much. Oh, you didn't sleep in Kyoto, I see. Yeah, it's a, it's a big place to explore. Big place. And oh, that's okay, you fit in so much into two weeks. Hello, Bing Chillin. How you doing? <laughs> I love Mario Sunshine. I could play some tonight. I'd be down to play some Mario Sunshine tonight. I freaking love Mario Sunshine. Ah, Kushikatsu. So, on a stick. I once did the mistake of having a tabehodai kushikatsu, so an all-you-can-eat kushikatsu. And it, you did it yourself, like you breaded and like dipped and fried everything yourself. It was like a deep fryer at your table. And I just felt so sick. Because when they do it, they're very, you know, they're professionals. And it's like a super thin layer of breading and you know they dry it with the from the oil so it's not so intense but when you're doing it yourself it's just so much batter and so much bread and so much oil that i felt so sick <laughs> they give you a big buffet where you can just choose whatever you want to deep fry it's so much fun but i felt so ill Yeah, I mean, they give you like a little bowl and it's like easy to do, but it's easy to mess it up and just have like a, a stick just drenched in oil. We're talking about a thing called kushikatsu. Kushi means like on a stick. Katsu is something that's like breaded and fried. And in Osaka, they are famous for kushikatsu. There is quite a bit of DIYing here at restaurants. Like, okonomiyaki. When I go to places and they make it for you, I'm like, cool. And then sometimes they just give you the bowl and I'm like, oh yeah, I have to make it. It can be fun, but I also get kind of stressed. I'm like, just give it to me, please.
Mm. I love, yeah. That's a kushikatsu place I go to. And there's a bunch of different sauces you can try with like some spices and yeah, just different sauces. It's so good. I love trying all the different sauces. Mm. Oh, you really enjoyed the Ghibli Museum. I'm glad. It's really good. It's just hard to get tickets to it. But yeah. When I first went, I was expecting... I don't know why I wasn't expecting a museum. <laughs> Even though it's literally called Ghibli Museum. I was like, I wanted like more interactive things, but it was, it's really good. As long as you're ready for a museum, it's awesome. The little movie they play, cat bus. The gift shop's awesome. You did hot pot and that was okay. Never made your own okonomiyaki though. I like to learn how to make it. Uh, I use a sauce a lot, but have never made it. It's good. It's fun to do the flip. And you gotta flip it at the end. And then I like I like being able to decorate it myself. I had to wake up at 3 a.m. to get tickets, but the website was fine. Okay, good. Yeah, that's so crazy though. <laughs> I haven't been while I've been here. I went once when I was a tourist, but yeah, I've never tried to get tickets because I'm like, that sounds really hard. <laughs> so, we can talk about the Ghibli theme park. I haven't been, but I know so many people who've been. If you guys didn't know, there is a Ghibli theme park. It's in Aichi Prefecture. Pretty far away. Pretty hard to get to. And I've just heard really shit things. Which sucks, because Ghibli, it's like, I think they fumbled the bag, you know? They have such an opportunity where they can make the best theme park ever. There's so many different movies with so many different things that they could, like, they should just have rides. I don't know why they decided that they're not gonna have rides. It's so sad. Like, yeah, it's for very little kids, but even then, it's it's not super interactive. It's just a very large area with a bunch of statues. And there's like some, some houses you can go in and stuff, but it's the ticketing system that is crazy because you can't just show up and go on everything or you can't get a ticket for everywhere. You can only get tickets for very specific places. So it's like going to a theme park and only being able to go to like a quarter of it or like a sixth of it. You can only see a small bit or if you get into somewhere, you then are supposed to pay an extra amount to be able to go inside the houses and pay for like an extra pass. And so it's just, it's just a ripoff, I would say, from what I've heard. It's a long way to travel to get there. It's really inconvenient and everything's, yeah, super spaced out and you can't see everything. You're not allowed to because the, you can't get that kind of ticket. And if you want to see as much as possible, you have to pay a huge amount. And mainly, it's about the gift shops. Every area has a gift shop, which is good, but it's all about buying stuff. So it's just a really expensive experience. And I feel like they probably, I don't know. I feel like they have this kind of, we want to protect it. We don't want it to be become like cheap and commercialized kind of vibe. But I'm like, I feel like that's what they've done with this park. If they had included, like, if they really went for it, had a bunch of rides, have everything connected, it would have been super successful and super enjoyable. It's super busy because it's Ghibli, but it's, yeah, everyone I know that's gone has been like, well, that's really disappointing. So I don't know if it's worth going. I don't think it would be. Unless you're already in the area. And it's very easy for you to get tickets somehow. But yeah, it's really depressing. Because they had such an opportunity. You know, you see like what Nintendo is doing with USJ and you're like, holy shit, like that kind of stuff is possible. Ghibli is massive. And they just, yeah. And it is beautiful, 
Like the statues and the recreations are super cool, but that's kind of all they are. If they'd put everything kind of closer together and just let everyone like walk through and see everything. But there's a lot of things where you have to wait in line for photo spots and everything. And that's kind of all it is. Yeah, I ate it all. <laughs> it was really good. Mmm. That beef is just so crazy. And I know it's like said that it's for small kids, but there's only a few things that small kids can go on. Yeah, USJ is cool. And they've got the new Donkey Kong area opening up. Did you guys see it? Yeah, USJ merch is really expensive, I agree. I have my bob on from there. I can't remember how much I paid for him, but it was a lot. <laughs> he, was, he was full of snacks. But he was one of the cutest ones that I was like, oh, I, I think I gotta get him. But... Yeah, some of the stuff there was crazy expensive. Yeah, my best purchase from USJ. Super Nintendo World. I still haven't been to Fantasy Springs. I wanna go, and I know a bunch of people who are like really into Disney, who know how to get good tickets and everything, and I'm like, I think I should just hit them up and be like, yo, get me in there. <laughs> Popcorn holder was like, go say and that's crazy. That's so much. That's so intense. Djibouti Park. I mean, this looks beautiful, but... Yeah, it's like, okay, look at, look at this. This is all nothing. Like, all these paths, it's, it, it's just a park. Like, it's... But people aren't there to go hiking, you know, they're there to see shit. Everything's so spaced out. And apparently in the Mononoke area, there's only this thing, which is like... I wonder if... Yeah. Like, they've, they've built some old houses and stuff, but... Just like, one thing. <laughs> it's just a bit... Yeah. I think they could have done a bit of a better job. Hopefully over time it just gets better and better, but still like, I don't know. Just add, a, add some rides, add some, even if it's just for little kids, like get, get people doing things, have some interactive stuff. Why is it, it's all just statues in this giant park. This is the one thing that kids can do. There's like, well, one of the very few things. There's like this Totoro that you can go inside isn't huge, but... But yeah, it's like, look at, look at all this space. There's nothing. Like, it's just this. <laughs> the whole, the whole area. The house is here, but you can't go inside unless you have an extra ticket. So... Yeah. Only kids are allowed inside Don Dokodo. There's the house, there's a shop. That is cute. A little, a little transporter, but they should, why, did, why isn't the transporter the, the Neko bus, <laughs> you know? If they're gonna have like a little, a little transporter to the Totoro area, why didn't they Neko bus theme it? I don't know. But. Right, missed opportunity. I feel like they missed out on so much stuff. Have you guys seen the new Donkey Kong area? Would it be okay if I showed you it on YouTube? I did have a look at it. They don't show you 
absolutely everything. Um, they don't show you like on the ride or anything, but if you, I, I want to show you if you're down. If you don't want spoilers, uh, I know. I'm like, do they have plans for Zelda? Do they have massive plans for Zelda that we don't know about? Because I feel like Donkey Kong is a weird direction to go in. Like, why? Yeah, why Donkey Kong? I mean, I don't mind a bit of Donkey Kong. I love Donkey Kong, but... Maybe they have bigger plans for the, the bigger franchises? Okay, I'm gonna- t I'll type in chat Spoilers are starting and then just keep chat open and then when- if you don't- if you don't want any spoilers uh, I'll type spoilers are ended after we're done. Okay, we're starting in three, two, one. ユニバーサルスタジオジャパンの Dash the it in my show. Take my show. So cute. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, all the way down. Ah, yeah, toys came out. Poco a Super Nintendo World on the Kanya shop, one up factory no, my des. So stay, Ponokuni, Atarashi area no, you got the Kmasta. マリオのエリアのスーパーマリオランドからこの先に広がるドンキコングの世界。さあ、どんなエリアになってるのか。ドンキーコングカントリーです。ドンキーコングたちが住むジャングルの世界が広がっています。あちらに見えるのはドンキーコングの家。そしてその奥にそびえるのは黄金の神殿です。実際に見ると、こんな巨大な神殿になったんですね
Yeah, it's fine. You got it. So sorry. So sorry about that, guys. Yeah, he's not saying anything revolutionary. He's so cute, look at him. This is so sick though, I love this. Look at Rambi. Rambi looks so good. Rambi looks crazy then. Nah, definitely, I'd say Zelda's more popular than DK here. I just feel like they wanted, I feel like they had a bit of space and they wanted to expand it and they decided to go with Donkey Kong because it's a safe kind of thing. I feel like if they did a small space for Zelda or Animal Crossing, people might be like, Yo, this isn't good enough. We want something bigger for those franchises. But DK is like a, a good fun one that everybody knows and it's just like a little area. I don't know if that's true. But I feel like it was it's a safe bet. What are... I did get pissed off when I saw this because I thought you'd have to buy a new wristband. But you can use the old wristbands from the Mario area. Hi. これは、スーパーニンテンドーワールドのアプリ上でも記録されてます。これ以外にもパワーアップアドを使って発見できるたくさんの秘密があるので。いや、でリスペンスシーパーリスペンスワズンティーライクサンザイエンワズンティーライク
。ここに大きな足跡がありますね。おかしいな、ドンキーコングが先に行ったんでしょうか。とりあえずこの足跡を追いかけましょう。いや、bad day to not like bananas。banana allergy、do not go here。神殿の中に入ってきましたね。Nice little water fountain to drink in the queue. さあ、進んできました。日ががありますね。何かみんなでバナナを大事そうにしてますね。特別なバナナなんですかね。They are building new sand islands to accommodate his elder well. Is this true? ここにも別に見覚えがありますね。Like, like, なんか見覚えがありますね。あれ Because it's like all surrounded by water, right? Cranky Kong, let's go! Let's go! Really well done. Really well done. Crazy. I know him well. 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 The tiniest little sneak peek. Toroko has started. Dixie Kong. Dixie Kong. Oh, Dixie Kong. 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 And then we don't know what happens, and then you die. Rail を飛び越えたり、スピード感あふれる冒険をぜひ実際に体験してみてください。コースターはちょっと苦手という人にもおすすめですよ。ぜひ家族みんなで楽しんでください。いかがでしたでしょうか。ドンキーコングは今から40年以上。I feel like I'm gonna enjoy that ride more than the Mario Kart one. Anyone who's been on the Mario Kart one at USJ, what is your opinion? <laughs> Yo, DK, let's go! <laughs> We have Donkey Kong at home. Donkey Kong at home.、Um, yeah, the Mario Kart. What did you think? I find it to kind of be a sensory nightmare with. The 3D vision. Yeah, I found the Mario Kart ride overwhelming and confusing for some reason. It absolutely is. I'm on the same page 100%. And it sucks because, like, there's so many things to see that you want to just be able to see them. If you're just driving around, like, getting thrown around, there's so many, like, animatronics and things going on. But with the, with the interactive thing. PJ, thank you so much for the 35 months. We got double PJ in the chat. But yeah, with, with the, the interactive thing and the goggles, I, I just was like, whoa, what the fuck? I felt like I couldn't focus on too many things and it was just a bit disorienting. And it is like, go, 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 look here, look here, do this. You know, it's, it's super, there's too much going on, I feel. And I just wish they didn't have the, the goggles, to be honest. TW Calvin, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. I went on a VR roller coaster once where the headset wasn't properly calibrated. It was hell. That would be awful. That's awful. Yeah, I remember I went to USJ back in 2016 when I first came to Japan, and there was a VR roller coaster, and it was Kyari Pamu Pamu. I'm a huge Kyari Pamu Pamu fan, so I went with,、uh, with my friends, and it was, it was really fun. But yeah, the entire thing, you know, you, you can't. It's like full VR. Whereas the USJ、um, Mario Kart is just, it's like partially interactive. I, the ride stopped when I was on it. And I actually enjoyed that the most because I could actually look around and see, you know, all the different statues and animatronics. And like, I was like, oh shit, I see. <laughs> I could just, I had time to. Enjoy it rather than being thrown around everywhere. 
Used to be an inside theme park in Odaiba that had Sonic rides, but I think it closed. There's still um, Joypolis. I don't know if they have Sonic rides, but it, that might be the theme park you're talking about because that still exists. But I'm not sure about the Sonic, the Sonic aspect. ドンキーコングは新しいゲーム機が出るたびに進化をしてきました。最初はSuzy <laughs> Hello to everyone watching Nintendo. Direct. Hello, sir. I am JL Bonnier from Universal Studios. <laughs> You're thinking Mr. Krabs. He seems Universal cute. And you know, and the wonderful not this guy. I don't, I don't really Nintendo. care much. Super Nintendo World has made countless number of people super energized since its opening. And super now, energized. I'm very happy to be able to announce the opening date of the new world first ever Mr. Krabs is cute in a way. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country will be opening on December 11th, 2024. It's so 2024. soon. It's so soon. And with the opening of the new area, Super Nintendo World will power up and make people even more super energized. Yeah. We look forward to seeing you here. Hi. 2024 Super Nintendo World is Mario no Sekai ni kwaete Donkey Kong no Sekai mo さらに来年2025年にはアメリカフロリダ州オーランドユニバーサルエピックユニバースにもアメリカフロリダ州オーランドユニバーサルエピックユニバースにもアメリカフロリダ州オーランドユニバーサルエピックユニバースにもアメリ
I'd say the most intense roller coasters in Japan, from my knowledge, is Fuji Q Highland. I went on Air Danaika, and that one was like, okay, I don't ever want to do a roller coaster like this again in my life. And they have some other really intense ones. And then USJ is probably second intense. There's probably some small theme parks around that have more intense roller coasters. But. <sighs> I feel like it was the coolest thing in the world. We went straight to the other roller coaster there, Hollywood themed. The Hollywood one is a nice roller coaster. It's not too intense, I find, with like the it's the one with where you choose the music that plays, right? And yeah, it's like it's a little intense, but it's not it's not too bad. But I feel like um Yeah, Flying Dinosaur is like on the edge of intensity for me. Like it's a bit it's a bit much. Yeah, it's a nice a nice coaster. Then I feel like Disneyland, no, Disney Sea has some slight or almost intense ones. Not really, like almost intense. They're just very safe and calm and, you know, like, woo, wee, you know. And then Disneyland is like, I mean, they had Space Mountain, but now they're revamping Space Mountain. It's a good one for getting rid of kidney stones. Um, I went to Disney Sea to get rid of my kidney stones. And I don't know if any of them helped. But it's specifically Thunder Mountain in Disney World? Thunder Mountain in America that will help you with your kidney stones. <laughs> specifically that one. I want to eat a slice of Cherry Bakewell that I made on Patreon. So, take me to the kitchen. Was Disneyland the California one? Also, absolutely, chat must have died because this was on 10% when I was in here. Let me start up Twitch. Oh, quick. Quickly now. Okay. There I am. Hello. I just want the chat. Can I just see the chat? Please let me see the chat. Oh, how do I do? Okay, I can do it. I can do it. There we go. Nope. There we go. I'm here. How the hell do you ride a roller coaster? Oh, kidney stones? Yeah, okay. That was my question as well. Because <laughs> how the hell? People are like, oh, yeah, go on a roller coaster when you have kidney stone. I'm like, <laughs> how do you do that? So this was after it passed through the worst bit and then it just was kind of like taking its time and it was still I was really nauseous and it was still painful but it wasn't uh like hospital level pain but even then I was so nauseous that I was like how the hell does anyone ride a roller coaster at this point also this shit is so good <laughs> it's so, it's so freaking tasty for me is, yeah. Oh, camera's really choppy. What is going on? What's happening? Is it so bad? Yeah, it took me so long before they gave me the good, the good meds. I was on ibuprofen. <laughs> nah, I don't know what meds they were giving me, but it was not strong enough. It took, took me a long time. Is gig? It is fine. Okay. Big knife. I'm gonna try. So don't microwave a cherry bakewell. You will hurt yourself, like I hurt myself, because I'm silly. But I have put it in the fish grill <laughs> and it's gone pretty good so I might try that no the bottom bit didn't come up this is so sad no that's no that's all the jam wait oh that's awful oh what a sad day I had gallstones. I'd end up on the bathroom floor for hours just trying not to scream. Worse than any pain I've ever experienced. Yeah. I mean, kidney stones. 
They were a horrible, horrific surprise. And it was bad. And I too was on the bathroom floor screaming. <laughs> but I know I went to the hospital. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Our chubby video is just you? Okay. That's great. Fish Girl does so many things other than grilling fish. She's a versatile queen. Oh my god, did you hear that? That was my stomach. Did you hear that? Like, oh. They didn't check my kidney function, but I was peeing. So that was something, but yeah, I didn't get told about my kidney function or maybe I did and I didn't know what they said to me. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Doctors are super reluctant to prescribe painkillers these days. They just tell you to take over the counter stuff and it just straight up doesn't work. Yeah, it took a long time before they gave me painkillers that were effective for my level of pain but we got there in the end yeah but that's what my stomach did so bakewell tart is a it's a tart filled with almond this is kind of like almond paste and cherry jam on the bottom i couldn't find cherry so it's raspberry uh, this almond paste and then this kind of frosting on top, but the combination is a very almondy, sweet, slightly fruity tart. I used pastry dough for pie, uh, which is not correct, <laughs> but still really good. I do a good two out with, thank you so much. Yeah, raspberry, honestly, the raspberry jam hits so well. It's delicious. We're gonna try not to burn ourselves. That's the goal. No funny. Ooh, I can hear the kid next door yelling. Can you hear? That's a pretty quiet one. Mr. Kipling's Bakewells are excellent. Very, very good. Yeah, almond paste and that almond essence flavor, it's like kind of, it's like very sharp and like, and I was like oh, yum, <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> yeah, the kid's just doxing me. <laughs> oh, nightmare. Okay, this is good. Let's see if I can get it on a plate. You got it, you got it. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh fuck. <laughs> Please. It's not pretty anymore. But it'll still taste good. Yeah. <laughs> it's not cute anymore. Oh no, so sad, but yeah, this is, oh, I don't even look at it. How embarrassing. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. Mmm, fuck. Whoever invented this shit, they're getting into heaven.
So I get into those pearly gates. And they're gonna be like, oh shit, it's you, get in there. We know what you did. That cherry bakewell straight up bussin'. I was about to try to list good people who made it into heaven, but I don't know which ones secretly have done evil stuff. But whoever made this has to have only been good. You know? Mmm. Fuck. <laughs> it's like a... I'm ready to eat- Oh, I misread your name as I'm ready to eat poop. I guess because I'm eating. I was gonna be like, I don't know if you can talk about what's bussin' or not, but you're right. <laughs> I will say this thing is is quite sweet. If I was gonna eat the whole thing in one sitting, I might go to a hospital. <laughs> My heart would be going ten billion miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Oh fucking hell! This is where it's at. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's true. I should look up who made the Bakewell tart. Probably like Mrs. Bakewell. There is much conjecture over the true origins of the Bakewell tart and the Bakewell pudding, but most sources agree that it was a pudding that was first mistakenly baked by Mrs. Greaves, the mistress of the White Horse Inn in Bakewell. So there's an area called Bakewell. Mrs. Greaves? She having a good time up in heaven. Well, I don't know what else she did. Stell Bell, you gotta get in the kitchen even though it's gonna be 36 degrees and <laughs> you have to make a big one. Mmm. A Slack notification. Mmm. Okay, I've been given some updates. I need to blur some people's faces. In the video. I thought all of them were pretty, pretty out of it, but oh well. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm like someone from the olden days. There's no way they're getting into heaven. <laughs> Every for everybody from the old days going down. How is anyone good enough to go up? You know. Like, was slapping kids always a sin? And they just didn't know? Or did- is it decided upstairs that it's not a sin and back then, now it's a sin? Mm. Oh fuck, that's so good. No, I don't eat the cherry. Don't hate me. It's just so cute. But I don't really like it. <laughs> don't hate me. I can try. Yeah, I'll try for you. And now I ended on a bad note. <laughs> Now, now I had a bad thing in my mouth. It was so sad. Why would you do that to me? Mikey Magic, why would you choose that for me? You know what? Fuck it. Mario Sunshine. You know what? Fuck it. Mario Sunshine.
You know what? Okay. I think I have this all set up. Maybe if I do. Oh god. Oh no! That's a nana! Mario! It's soup! It's Super Mario! Super Mario! Was it intense? Did you not like it? I don't think Mario liked it either. Sometimes we just have to go through things. Soup! It's soup! Soup a mouth! Oh, I have been playing up! I love that little sound where it's like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. You want a soup vlog? You want, you want a soup vlog? I can get that for you. I know some soup spots. Hey, uh, can I get a, can I get a soup? Oh, cancel. Uh, give me soup. Oh, is it going to be crunchy? That's not allowed. Where is... My Mario pack? I bought... There it is. There you are. Come here. Give me that. My computer is screaming. Download. Please tell me I have room. Please tell me I have room. Oh, wait. Shit, is this going to ruin my stream? Is my stream going to die? Uh-oh. Am I still here? Not in a free space. Aw, oh, shit. I want to play. This might break the stream. Okay, we're going to download... Fifty minutes. Fifty minutes. Fifty for soup. Fit. Fifty. Fit. Fit. Fifty minutes. Fit. Fifty. One percent? I don't know about that. <sighs> Updating software. Fit fifty. A bagel? Fifty. Uh, why can my super fast internet not stream and download soup at the same time? Do I have to play something in the meantime? Oh, that's some crunchy sound. A bagel. Oh, that's so crunchy. I was in the middle of playing Donkey Kong. I was in the middle of it. Yossi Island? Y-O-S-S-Y. -S -S That's how they originally spelled Yoshi. Yossi. I was just playing this. Paused. Fucking. Oh. oh. Oh, 
paused. You know, fuck it. No, I'm not. <laughs> I I'm not go no learning tonight. Donkey Kong, meow 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 meow. Donkey Kong, meow 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 meow. Donkey Kong, meow meow meow. Ooh, ooh, ah, 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 ah. Oh shit. Don't show me how to play the game. I was born playing this game. Oh, where's my chat gone? Oh shit. Oh, oh fuck, where'd the chat go? Oh guys, where'd you go? Oh my god. Apparently you're still there. Where are you? Oh my god. I see. Oh, that's actually kind of convenient. A bagel! Okay. Oh, no, no, no. We're, we're playing. We're doing it. I was a 26%. Wait. Wait, I got so much further than this. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the... Yo, oh, what the fuck? Oh, goddamn. Alright, well, we're doing this now. Is there anything over here? Well... I don't know what I was supposed to do. Anyway. Let's play a little bit of Donkey Kong Country. We play a little. Oh, I've only got five lives. Yo, do I have Funky yet? Oh, thank God, Jesus! How's the sound levels, by the way? We need to stock up. We need to go crazy style. Where's my brother? I was just getting inspired for the roly coasty. That I will eventually ride. Universal Studios Japan. I will come back for that. I'm coming back for that. Ah, oh, piss. You'd think I'd be perfect at this level by now. I'm not a perfect person. A taxi go clean before work. A taxi? No worries. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for coming to join. I'll see you later. Oh shit. Oh, that is crunchy audio. I try and fix that. How bad is it for everybody? Frog. A little crunch. It's, yeah. I think if you don't have headphones on, it's good. Anybody ever played this game, by the way? I just, it's one of my favorite games. Oh shit, we're at 97 bananas. We need, we need three more. Wait, is there any... Bananas up here? There is. There we go. Ah, oh, and more bananas. 
You know what, it's fine, I'll leave him. <coughs> There's a few games that are my favorite games of all time. I said we need to get we need to get more lives. We're gonna we're gonna grind. It's so fun to watch Emma play the same level over and over again. Never got much into Donkey Kong games? I get it. I didn't get into a lot of them. I think just this one was like... It just hit something, you know? That's what we're looking for. Here we go. It's super Natsukashi, right? Oh, I also love Donkey Kong on the Wii. I haven't played any modern Donkey Kong games after that, though. I'm gonna aim for 300. So close. Okay, run, 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 run. And then we double it. Brings me memories of playing SNES at my co uh, cousin's place on Christmas visits. Nice. Yeah, I feel like Christmas for me was always um, GameCube games, but. Yoshi's- this and Yoshi's Island are like my super nostalgic uh, SNES games. Oh yeah, the double trick! That's- it's so good. Really helps with- with stocking up lives. A lot of- because uh, I think each animal has a double somewhere. I always struggle with ram Rambies. Rambies is really hard to get, but the emu's going to be the easiest one. I love Donkey Kong Country. I didn't get as many bananas this time. Actually, I think we can still do it. Oh shit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, we got enough lives. We're good. Let's get out of here. Oh wait, funky. I love the little plane with the barrel in it. It's so silly. Oh, it's so fast. Oh, yeah. I, think, I don't know if savings... I can't remember if saving keeps your lives. I feel like it doesn't. Alright. Let's try it one more time. Actually, no, let's do Diddy. What is the deal here? What is... I just bring that with me? I feel like I'm- can I use this for anything? Oh, never mind. Hmm, what is for? Ah. There's the uh, the rank tent. Yeah, let's go. All got. <laughs> oh my gosh, she didn't make the jump. Oh, that was close. Holy shit. Wait, is there? Oh my god, I'm. S okay, Emma, take some deep breaths. 
Jesus. All right. Get that midway barrel, please. Oh, that's close. Yikes. Such great music. Uh oh. You cannot. Oh my god! <laughs> you can't high five and switch out when you're. Okay, wait, let's switch out, let's switch out. Oh my god, switch, 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 switch. When you're on a ramped surface, you can't switch characters. Oh! <laughs> oh god, okay. It's cool. Don't worry about it. Not a big deal. I feel like I'm struggling with the jumps. Oh dear. Oh, oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh. Is she supposed to be good at the game? Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna... High five. Oh god. <sighs> nice. Oh, we need that N. Oh god, get it. Oh, nice. Oh my god, that was... Oh god. Oh. You got it, you got it. Oh! This is why we had to stock up on lives. <laughs> yeah, clearly you're being treated as a truly expert gaming, my god. This is clearly going very well. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god! How am I supposed to... Oh. <laughs> Zero deaths run. The thing is, I swear I'm good at this game. I, I, I swear I am. I swear. I, this is just this, some, some bad juju in the air. It's not my fault. I swear I'm very accomplished. You gotta believe me. I already got the end right. Whoop. All right. Oh god, this. Oh. It's a screaming kid. The screaming kid's been throwing me off, you know? I'm just not. Oh, god, I'm just not on my game. Oh, that was unfair. Quick, did he. Oh! <laughs> did he let me down? I'm turning this off. There's lights in my eyes. This, it's too. It's too bright. Oh, that's so nice, actually, not having the light in my eyes. Oh. That's what the problem was. Now, now, this is the run. Is that a challenge? I don't know why the orangutans are trying to kill us. Aren't they our, our brothers? Our cousins? Are we not family? What is our relationship to the other forest creatures? Are they being paid by King K. Rule? How do I get up there? You know what, it's fine. I'm fine with not knowing. Oh fuck. Oh my god, that was close. Can I have a can I have another barrel or something? Can I can I leave this level? Yeah, you know, if you just take away the sun. Didn't I say I can, I, I'm okay, I can play the game. Oh shit, it's the underwater one. Fuck, this one. I already did this one, I already did it. I guess it didn't save, give me that. One of the best underwater music tracks ever made. Fight me. Just 
atmospheric. I could listen to this all day. Oh, fuck. <laughs> They're trying to kill me. Oh, God. Did I miss the K? Where was the K? Must have missed it. Oh, well, that's okay. Ah, uh, get it? That's O. Super Mario Water World area is also excellent. Why does it feel like there's gonna be something down here? There never is. Uh, okay, we're just gonna go for it. Oh, oh god. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, come here. Just like Nintendo water levels. Oh, go quickly, go! Ah, oh, shit! <gasps> Why are they making it so hard? <sighs> All right. Okay. No, I got it. 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 Oh fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, halfway. Amazing. Where is our brother? Oh brother. Oh fuck! <laughs> Oh, piss. Oh. Oh, brother. We got it. We got it. We just go. Oh. We got it. Oh. Oh, God. I think I'm missing something up here. Oh, there's the end. Missed the K, though. What am I supposed to do? All right. Oh, frog. Oh, frog. Frog. Hey, they're doing a little... Oh, fuck. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Please just let me out. Oh, oh, go, go, Diddy. Yeah, go, go, go. Woo, brother. Saved by my brother. Okay, I'm gonna go save. Shim, let me kiss. Let me kiss. Give me a little. Ooh, thank you. Yippee. Oh, no. You wanted to go back for another kiss? I feel like. They were not afraid of boobs in old Nintendo games. I was thinking about the uh, the final, like, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, and then the final scene in Banjo Kazooie, where that lady comes out with those melons. I feel like these days, I don't think they'd put uh, that much titty going on in a video game, but I feel like they were just doing it back in the day. Oh shit, I thought that was the end. Oh shit, whoa, calm down, chill out. You don't even eat bananas, you're a bee. Tomb Raider? Yeah, just checking some triangles. Some. I already did all of this. Ah, <laughs> oh, I didn't save. Wait. Shit, there's a- wait, this is the level that's super hard, but I found the secret last time I did it and I can't remember where it is. Come here. Did it do? Where's the frog gonna go? Where's the frog gonna go? Where is the frog gonna go? Where is the frog gonna go? Over here! Oh shit, that was close. Da da ba ba da ba da. I do ba da ba da ba. I don't know how they got away with Conker's Bad Fur Day. That shit was crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I really could use that. Okay, there's something somewhere that I have to drop down and I can't remember where it is. 
Is it here? Where the hell do I drop down? No, it's not there. That's not it. But hey, let's get some more lives. Let's be a little frog in a cave. I don't know where the times two is for the frog. Where's the frog gonna go? Where's the frog gonna go? Where is the frog gonna go? Where is the frog gonna go? Over here. Ba -ba -da. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -da. Do 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 do. All right, go quick. Get on the tire. Go as high as you can. Oh shit! Da da do. I don't know where the times two is gonna be. Oh, is it here? Is it here? Here it is. Big times two. Awesome. Okay, oh, come on. Play, can you jump? Thank you. Yo, we got 600. That's great. That's crazy. That's awesome. Okay, this level that I'm doing... I think is like one of the hardest levels in the whole game. If you can't find where the secret is. But I can't remember where the secret is. If you get the secret, it's the easiest level in the whole game. <laughs> so it wasn't here. Oh, I'm so bad at timing with these. There we go. Oh. Where is the secret bit? I don't know where it is. I feel like I've already missed it somehow. Like it's completely random. I don't know where it is. Ow! Hey! Brother! I think I've missed it. Yeah, I feel like I've missed it. Ah. Okay. I've missed it. And this is the this is the hard bit, but this is a different secret. All right, it's not being able to see. Like you can't see with the with the amount of snow coming down. Brother, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, with a slippery floor. It's so brutal. Ow! Oh, well, at least he's right there. Okay. Yeah, it's... I... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, is it worth it? Oh, no, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. <laughs> I'm not doing it. That's way too fast. Oh, that was close. Oh. oh my god. Come on. This is so hard. I can't see shit! It's so hard to time it right. Holy fuck. Let me- ah! Oh, let me go! Ah! Oh. Come on, man. Ah, oh, piss. Ah, oh, fuck. 
I don't know why they put wasps in the snow. And you have to start so far back. Shit, is there more slight messages? Okay. Okay. I mean, that was pretty smooth. I mean, I had myself up, but that was pretty freaking smooth. Ah, oh, fuck. God. Oh my god. This level is so hard. Oh, that's fine. I should really try for that rhino. Crunchy audio too, that's so fun. God. This is just such an evil level. Oh my god, please don't crunch in my ears. It's truly awful. Oh please. Oh, it's so crunchy. Why are you crunching? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Why is it so hard? Let me through, please. I can't find the... This is so hard. Let me through. I can't figure out when the... Ah, oh, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, trying to convince myself to buy parts for my new PC right now. I have the money. Why is it so hard to click the buy button? I understand. You can do it. I, I don't want to encourage spending, but you have the money. It's something that you want to do, but I understand. It's just that final step of like, okay, well, I'm going to do it. You've researched, you know exactly the parts you want, right? Like, double, triple, mega checks. Sometimes purchases just feel really important. Like, how about we just chat through this and we just take this really casually? Like, this isn't a big deal, and I'm just like, smoothly. Just go through this, like it's nothing. I'm gonna go on the third try. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go for the next one. There. And then we're going in with a shoe. And then we're just gonna do a little casual. If I can do it. There. And then she got it there as well. You know, we've seen how this goes. It's just hard to get that, that thing to line up without hitting a B. Oh, oh, <laughs> hey, it's okay. We're all right. It's no worries. Don't worry about it. Oh. I'm still just warming up. It's nothing. I got it. Where is my brother? Seriously, this level freaking kicks my ass every time I play this game. Except that literally, like a few days ago, I was playing it. I found the secret. It means this level lasts like two seconds and you finish it. It's, it's literally a barrel that takes you the entire way through. And it's somewhere near the start. And I can't remember where it is. Oof, that was a close one. Oh, shit. Oh. <sighs> Me too, man. Me too, DK. Do you have a 
beat your chest like DK? Just like in your off time? I haven't, but maybe it's time to start. Ugh. Literally, it gets easier after this level. <laughs> like, this level's... Because also... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. The barrels... The... Um, the, the margin of error, like, it's, it's so hard to get, like, they move smoothly, but they're on, like, a diagonal thing, and it's so hard to get it right. It's so freaking hard. Let alone with all this other shit going on. Okay, come on, man. Let me through. Let me through. Let me through, let me through. I just want to pass. I just want to pass. Just heading through. Nothing to worry about. You don't even need to notice me. I'm just, I'm just going by. Just passing through the neighborhood. Oh my god, why is that so hard to line that up? Jesus Christ. Why is that so hard? Oh. Oh, fuck you though. Like, fuck you though. <laughs> We could, do you want to do this one more time? Because I, I do. I want to do this one more time. Oh, really? Oh, well, it's okay. He's there. What's that? What's that? Where was that? Where was that? Where was that? That was after this bit. Now? Here. Was it here? Was it here? Was it there? Or is it was it here? Where was it? Where was it? Was it here? Where was that? <laughs> I feel like we made it here. Ah! Oh! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, gracious one. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, gaming Jesus. Thank you so much. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I told you. There's that silly little thing. That just makes it so freaking easy. Ah, oh, we don't even have to worry about it. We made it. We survived. Hello, Smash. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. It's K-O-N-G. It's the K-O-N-G. And when it's the K, it's gonna be the O. It's a K-O-N-G. Now we're gonna... Hit the end. Ah, oh, wait, no, shit. I've clicked the wrong thing. A tee -hee? But, uh, but I'm such a gamer girl. How could I mess that up? It's cool. Ah! Nope. Wanna hang on there, bud? Here we go. Ouch! What am I doing with this? Ah, oh, piss! Oopsie. Gaming Jesus. Come here. Come here. Uh, we gotta have a conversation. Come here. Ah, oh, fuck. Not that kind of conversation, dude. That's not what I wanted to talk about. Let's try it again. Alright, come here. A little conversation. Just over here. There we go. Alright, let's do it. Let's concentrate. Let's get our gamer mode on. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. True gamer mode.
There we go. I don't think the soup's downloading. I think that while I'm playing this, it's paused itself. Yeah. So I'll have to just get soup for another day. Oh, hey, please don't do that. Very tragic, I know. Nice. DK. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose it. His first name is Donkey. Donkey. Find out who Donkey Kong's father is. Is it Cranky? Or is Cranky his granddad? Is Funky Kong Donkey Kong's kind of absent pilot father? Ah, oh, fuck you though. Same color as the background. A little bit evil there. Is there gonna be like a little midway point? Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, well, thank god for midway point. Like, how old is Donkey Kong? Is he like... I feel like he's early 20s. DK Jr. is Donkey Kong said- wait! DK Jr.? Wait, I don't know DK Jr. Oh, let's try. Oh, come here. Come here, come here. Actually, I don't think I need to go up there. It's fine. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh fuck. Oh. Oh fuck. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm gonna go up this way, I guess. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I missed the O, though. Donkey the third? Oh, what the fuck do I do here? Oh, fuck you guys. Oh, shit. Oh. That's terrible. Oh, claptrap. I'm a cussing kind of lady, and this game makes me cuss like nothing else. Go! Okay, shit, we're gonna jump, 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 jump. We're not caring about bananas. Oh my god. Oh, canal. You got it. You're doing great. Holy shit. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh fuck! Oh fuck you. <laughs> oh, fuck. a long chunk that I did just then. We just... Ah, oh, shit. Oh, well, that's okay. We don't need it. I'm gonna ignore it. Oh, oh god. Hup. Hey, hup. Hup. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother going up there. You know what? You can suck it. Falling for your silly little games. Do you love me? Are you playing your love game with me? Up, oh, hop, up, hop, so, hop, hop, hop. Oh, God, okay. I really 
loved the Mighty Boosh. I always get scared to watch it just in case it doesn't hold up like it used to. Oh, that was fucking close. You know what? Just let me out. I'm going. I'm walking away. We did it. What is this now? Is there anything down there? I feel like there's something down here. Ah, oh, you! And, oh my god! That's what we like to call gaming intuition, boys. Part of the gamer mindset. Wait. So, as a- so I can fly. Oh shit. No, no, no. Oh shit. Oh fuck, he's gone. Alright, never mind. Oh fuck, that's a rope. <laughs> Yeah, it was a... Uh, who was it? Is that old Greg? Dear love man, I am playing a love game with me. I know what you're gonna do because I need your love a lot. Come on now. It's a game for game to face. Ooh, when it put out a bird the face. Okay, so we can just fly? Oh, but you can't hit... Okay. Are we wanting to get up there? Is that what is that what we're doing? Cause I need your love and I can't get up there now. So now all the crimps. Oh my god! Whoo! Oh. Ooh, that's a lot of jumps of faith, huh? Um, I don't know if I'm. Am I gonna? I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, it wasn't worth it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. Oh, I'm back at the beginning. It's cool. It's fine. I'm not gonna go for that, that or next time. Soup, soup, a tasty soup, soup, a spicy carrot and coriander, chili chowder, crouton, crouton, crunchy friends in a liquid broth. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I am gazpacho, mm. I am a summer soup, mm. Miso, miso. Ow, fighting in the dojo. Miso, miso. Oriental prince in the land of soup. Oh, fuck. Bouncy, bouncy. Oh, such a good time. Oh, fair, bouncy, bouncy. Oh, shoes all in a line. Bouncy, bouncy. Stilettos are no, no. Ah, oh, fuck you, Claptrap. Oh, why are you here? Wait, oh. Ah, oh, piss. <laughs> oh. My favorite was um, Tundra. Oh my god! Ice flow, nowhere to go. Ice flow, nowhere to go. Lost in the blinding whiteness of the tundra. Check him out. They call him the true. Ah. Uh, I'm little Johnny Frostbite, moving around, freezing you up, freezing you down, like an icicle. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, oh my god. Arctic death, call it infinite night. They call me Tundra Boy because I move like an Arctic blizzard. When the blizzard strikes, I disappear like a pipe dream. All that's left is a gleam. On a tent peg, boosh, boosh, stronger than a moose. Da -da -da -da, when it'll come through your rooftop. Because the boosh is the boosh is loose and we're a little bit bored. Ah, fuck. Hi, Ramen Whiskey, how you doing? I'm doing good. Just doing a little bit of patience testing right now. Hello, Kate. How are you? Okay. Oh. Let me wait. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Crimpity crimpity now now crimpity crimpity ask me how 
Grimity, grimity, da 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 da, grimity, grimity, da da da, bong ting, bong bong ting, grimity, grimity, bing bong. Little my nicest, why would you come for me? Da 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 I put you in my jacket pocket, take you to the meeting. Put you in my jacket pocket, take you to the meeting. Oh, it's so loud. Oh, scared the shit out of me. Kate! <laughs> Thank you, Black Geologist! A gift and a sub to Kate. Thank you so much. That scared the crap out of me. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh. Sacrifices had to be made. Run! Oh, piss! <laughs> Oh. John Claude Jacquetty with a jacket on. John Claude Jacquetty with a jacket on. Jacket off. Jacket off. Jacket off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I did a twisty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A tiny twisty. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Running out of lives. Okay. This is such a. The thing is, if I run out of lives. That's the end. Oh fuck. I got oh, oh, oh. I go immediately. Oh fuck. Like I gotta lock in. Like I'm not locked in, clearly. I have to make it to Funky Kong. Oh my god! Oh shit. I'm not locked in. It hits two jumps. That was the ledge there. That was such a peaceful death. Heels up inside ya, finding an entrance where they can. Ah, fuck, it's a second jump, Emma. Heels up inside ya, finding an entrance where they can. Ori through your mind, through your tummy, through your anus. Eels. Like, I, it's not. Like, I, I don't feel good singing that, but it's such a classic. One, two, there you go. Ow! Fuck. Oh, that was so close. Locking in. That was luck. Fuck, fuck, okay. This is just gonna, okay. Okay, it's just double hit. Okay. Is it, where is it, okay. Okay, we're gonna switch, we're switching. Let me out of here, let me out of here. Where's the exit? I'm not getting that. Fuck that. Ooh, okay, locked in. Where the hell is Funky's flights? Croctopus? Or croctopus not meat. Cheese is a kind of meat, a tasty yellow treat. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, the crunchy. Oh fuck, I remember this. Go! Oh, don't do that. Oh shit. Go! Oh my god, fuck this guy though. Yeah, the save locations are so fucked. Like, oh my god! <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, thank god. Brother! 
Hello, brother. Okay, go fast. Go, Diddy. Go, 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 Go fast. Go. I need a midway point or something. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> please. Ah, oh, please. Oh, thank God. Holy crap. Go, DK. Away we go. Ugh. Fucking sharks. Go! Banana. I don't know the right way, but I'm just. Oh shit. Oh no, no. Oh, that was close. Okay, go. Go. You got it, you got it, you got it. I'm going fast. You got it. Oh, there you go. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, brother. Really grateful they gave me my brother. You got it, 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 you got it. I don't know if anything's chasing me. Oh shit. Uh, go. Oh, that was a secret to the left. Oh fuck, that was a secret. No shit. I wanna go back. I wanna go back. Ooh. Ah, life. Thank you. What else do we have? Oh. I'll take that. Oh shit. Yeah, they really. All right, we're going fast. Oh. We're going super speed. No question. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> that was Where the fuck? Please let me get to funky, please. Or oh, save state, anything. Torchlight tunnel. God. I like how on screen it looks like Cronkies. Cronkies cabin? That, that's 100% an O. That is not an A. Blit do 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 do. Oh shit. Hello, Bart. I'm gonna ignore the O. I mean the K. We're just going for survival. Gronkies. Oh, shit. Oh, well, thank God I got both my boys. Oof. Can I? Oh my God. Oh yeah, just tires. Just spiky tires. Like, they're just... Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, I don't know if I can do it with just DK. Did we get a midway point? Shit. Oh, 
Yo, <laughs> that was so easy. Thank God, yo, a save point candy. Come here, baby. Come here. Oh, holy shit. Oh. Yeah, it feels like there is some like climate change kind of, okay. Well, I might stop there actually, cause I need to go back and like get more lives and shit. And then keep going till I get to the boss. So I'm gonna stop there because I got to a save point. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out. I might go to a music show tonight. I might go to bed. I might finish up and send over the things that I need to because I've just been told a bunch of updates on the stuff that I submitted. I might need to blur some faces. So I might need to redo it and send it over. <sighs> You're all in bed. I'm jealous. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a bed. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for coming to join, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me on this wonderful Friday night. Uh, I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you next week. But I am gonna be traveling, um, so I'll keep you updated in the Discord. And yeah, but yeah, I'll be traveling for work, so. We'll let you know what ends up happening. But yeah, take it easy. Enjoy life. Ooh, hotel quality mattress, nice. My my uh, comforter is a hotel quality and it's so freaking good. So good. All right, thanks so much for joining, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy. See you later. Bye-bye. Good night. See ya.